time somebody might think it's a big joke. Hey. It's a lot of you in here still not eating OG. This man that made it.
He is one of the most gifted musicians, Fanfield, in the county. He is a very gifted man. It's a pleasure for me to stand next to him to play. Thank you, Dale, for asking me to come. How are you going to do this? And 
I'm still wearing decades later <laughs> because I've managed not to grow out of them. <laughs> Just barely. No. I'm saying. <laughs> if my memory serves, I met Del when he showed up one day in Santa Barbara at a duo that I was playing with Leslie. He just emerged from at a time in his life when he had stopped playing saxophone for a while. But I guess he was ready to come out of his early retirement because there he was with a horn asking if he could sit in. Imagine having him come up and ask. <laughs> we musicians were always wary of these requests, but there was something about this guy that said, this guy can play. So we said, sure. And he let us know that he hadn't been playing for a while but, and was pretty rusty. But when he started blowing on that horn, that rust started to fly off. <laughs> and beneath was a soulful style and a beautiful, rich sound that we both knew was not only rare, but that fit perfectly with our style and our conception. And again, I was there. I saw this. So. From the chance encounter eventually grew out our band, grew out into our band. Dell was so instrumental in helping us put together a call for all silk. He introduced us to a great bass player, Michael Lomas, who was still going at it strong, and drummer Donzel Davis, and we instantly had the hottest, funkiest rhythm section on the planet. Then Michael brought in his buddy from Lompoc, a great guitar player named Ray Pinnell. And sorry, Doe, I saw them all last night, and they are better than ever. <laughs> we got to get them down here. Okay. Um, we were on our way to decades of, of a long run of Tri-County's favorite bands. And you all know this, I know. One thing we knew that was when we showed up to a gig at a, or rehearsal with Dell is that we would be laughing until our sides split and the tears flowed. He was, and it was just so funny. That was the cherry on top of the great music we were making together. We haven't been playing together for a while now, and I miss that so much. So, Dell, congratulations on this well-deserved tribute you're getting tonight. I'm definitely here in spirit, old buddy, and I hope we can get together somehow soon, especially if it's with the rest of the band, and if it's not to play, at least to revisit the times we had in love and friendship. George. Oh. That's wonderful. See, Leanne don't talk much. She don't. I've never heard her say and when she dropped the mic. My husband did that every time we played. <laughs> he made some kind of noise. So, I thought he said that when you did that. Yeah, yes. But you thank him and you tell him I love him. And we will be playing again soon. Okay? Thank you. Okay. And I have one quick thing to say about Miss Leslie Limbo, that I always will remember. It was a, a guy, a white guy. <laughs> he came and he said, ma'am, I'm sorry that a black woman is trapped in your body. <laughs>
to not be shocked when he comes up here. He's a former FBI director. <laughs> he was one of the people that uh, Trump fired. <laughs> So he decided that he chose our family to hang around. <laughs> so I'm going to have him come up. You don't have to be quiet. You can clap when he comes. He's not with the FBI anymore. We're going to have Mr. Hank Hendergurst. Hendergrass. <laughs> Being together. 
I had about 300, maybe four. And I said, can I see your list? And he had three songs. But they were good songs. <laughs> oh, see? See? Who? Oh, table talk. Remember to serve with love, 